Okay, guys, I wanted to talk about uh, the coronavirus and uh, oh, using your head and being smart. Okay, there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of people downplaying things. And I, I really want, and I can't stress enough, I mean, what to do and uh, how to, I mean, what things you need to do. Now, I'm sorry, I, there's so much stuff on here. I had to write a list down because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to get, uh, you know, forget anything. So you got to be first thing we need to do is be realistic. You know, this isn't going to be like a global upset and, you know, a global restart. Sure, you know, if things get bad and there's a lockdown, things might slow down. You know, like in the spring you get winds, you know, your hydro might go out because of a tree line falling down on the, on the line. It might click it off. That might be the worst case scenario, you know. You, we're still going to have hydro. We're still going to have water. You know, those those things are necessities. They might get down to a skeleton crew, but that's that's about it. They're still going to be operational. Now, as for what to do, I think what the government has said in the first place and what uh, the Red Cross has said is having two months of food on hand. Now, a lot of people don't know where to start with food. People say, you know, they ask me, should I dehydrate my food? Should I dehydrate my vegetables? No, you shouldn't. We're still going to have hydro. So is it a necessity? No. Where I am, it's a little bit more remote. If I do lose hydro, it could be for a couple days or so. So yeah, that's something that I might want to do myself, but not generally you. You won't have to do that. As for buying, you know, vitamins, I would buy vitamins as well. They're good and handy to have. When it comes to, when it comes to food, make a week plan if you have taco tuesdays or pizza wednesdays or lasagna fridays make a list of what you eat through your week and then just buy you know eight times that so that every tuesday you know for the next two months you can have tacos or it's the easiest way to go and it's simple you know just buy a little bit extra more you don't have to go out and just start stripping the shells of rice and noodles and unless you really like stir fries you might really like stir fries and if you really like stir fries then eat stir fries every day but you know you don't have to do that when it comes to using your head it's the simple things that matter you know take some clorox wipes keep them in your car that way when you're filling your gas pump use the clorox wipes to hold the gas nozzle use them when you go into doors try not to use the door handles maybe use your sleeve if you got an itchy face Use your shoulder to scratch your face. Don't touch your hands to your face. That's the last thing you want to do. Another thing that's really important to do is for your medication. If you need meds to live, get a hold of your doctor. Can we please go? Get a hold of your doctor. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Get a hold of your doctor. <laughs> The last place you want to be is at a doctor's office where sick people can congregate and be stuck there getting a refill for your insulin next to two people that got the coronavirus a month and a half from now. Last thing you want to do is get sick because of that. Get a hold of your doctor. Tell them you're worried about a lockdown. Tell them you're worried about a pandemic. Tell them to get you, you know, a three, four month script. Get that filled at the, at the pharmacy. Get that ahead of time. Then you need to also be considering is like I said in previous videos, there's a long line of boats coming from China to here. And those boats have stopped coming. And a lot of precursors for our industry and our pharmaceutical industry aren't coming. So there's going to be a shortage of pills at some point here because some of those things are no longer coming. So get ahead of that. I, I stress people to do that now. Not wait until next week, get a hold of your doctor, get an appointment as soon as you can, get in there before the sick people get there. Um, other than that, when it comes to travel, if you're traveling, again, make sure you don't touch anything. They're, I'm not sure if they're gonna allow you to put hand sanitizer and bring it on a plane through checkpoints. They might, they might not, I'm not sure. But the thing is just don't touch things with your hands. Use your shoulder, like I said before. It's not something that we need to panic about. You know, you don't have to go out and ask me if, you know, we need seeds to, you know, plant our garden. You know, I like planting a garden. I do it every year. Do you have to do it? No. Is it something that you should do? Sure, if you want to. But it's not going to be life or limb if you don't do it. It, it comes down to this. 
every nation that is going through this, and we're get we're getting there. We just started. We're getting there. Has gone down on a lockdown. And when it comes to lockdown, you want to be ahead of it and not behind it. Because when you see what they do on picture Black Friday, you know, you see people trampling people just to get that VCR or the TV or the DVD player, or whatever it minds you. Imagine being that last cam of spam. You know, you don't want to be there. Get ahead of it now. Get out, get your things, get back in. As it comes for toilet paper, you don't need to buy every roll of toilet paper you find. It's not that you're going to be bartering toilet paper for apples a month from now. It's just not going to happen. You can use water to wipe your butt. You don't need to buy every roll of toilet paper. People are panicking and going out of their way, buying stuff that they don't need. Spend that money wisely. Anyways, guys, that's that's about all that I can uh, I can think of here for you guys. As it comes to the schools closing, expect that if this continues to get worse, I need it they, one more time. They, I get to here, it. stop. As as schools get worse in this, you might find that school will be closed for the rest of the year. I was talking to my daughter's principal just today about that and she's suspecting that that's going to end up being the case if this continues to get worse. So anyways guys, be safe, God bless. I'm